Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is a Docker crash course for Angular and .NET web developer. It is suitable because uh, we are going to containerize uh, one Angular and uh, .NET application in this course. So in the first video in the day one, uh, we are not going on much on theory, but uh, few basics I'm going to cover like uh, what is a Docker, uh, Docker benefits, uh, what you need uh, to start with the docker, what is docker container, what is docker image and few basic docker commands. So what is docker? So docker is a lightweight open source platform sim which simplify building, shipping and running apps. Now next question is docker benefits. So here are a few benefits of uh, using a Docker. Okay. Now, next thing is to start with Docker, what we need. So for Windows 10 or Mac users, uh, we need Docker for desktop. So I have already installed in this my machine, but uh, you can find the link in the description block. And based on the, your operating system, you can install uh, Docker desktop. But suppose if you are on Windows 7 or 8, so you cannot use Docker desktop. So Windows for Windows 7 or 8 users, they have to go for Docker toolbox. So now my next part is what is container and what is image. So number one thing is container. Container created by an image and that can be run started, stopped, or moved, or deleted. So first we are going to create image and then that image is going to create our container. So container is created by an image. And now next question is what is image? So image is kind of template which contains the set of instruction for creating a container. So in this template we are having few instructions like what are the things we should have in the container that instruction we are having in the image and then that image creates the container. So this is the official Docker uh, website and in this link you can find that uh, uh, Docker version for based on your operating system. So after successful installation of Docker desktop, you can find that in the programs list. So let's open our Docker desktop. So before we get uh, our first image from Docker Hub, let's first understand few basic commands. So we have one command docker pull and then we can give image name. So that pulls the image and we have another command uh, that's docker images. So by this command uh, you will get a list of all the images and uh, another command is docker ps. This will list uh, all the containers and another command is docker run and then you can give the image name. So now I am opening uh, this docker hub site. You can find this link also in, in the description block and I am opening my PowerShell window. So let's wait. Let it be open. So in the docker hub let's search for hello world docker image. Let's select this. And now I can see one hello world docker image and by docker pull command as already we discussed we can pull this image. So let's copy this and now let's open our PowerShell window and here let's check if we have already any image exist. So we don't have any image. Let's check for any existing container. So I don't have any container. Let's check if container is stopped and exist. So I don't have any stopped container also. So now I can pull uh, this new hello world docker image. So let's paste this command and now press enter. So it will take some time to download. So let's wait for it. Now let's check for images again. So I can see this new image with the hello world and this image ID. 
now let's check for container so i am not seeing any container let's check for any stop container so i am not seeing any stop container as well because container is created by image but we did not create any our hello world container yet so let's start for this so to create a container we can use docker run command so let's say docker run and then here i can give image name so let me give our image name and now let's uh, press enter and let's wait for container creation so i can see that hello from docker and this says that our uh, docker daemon is working fine and i can see this hello docker message now let's check for container so i'm not seeing container because our container is stopped so let's check for the stopped container so now i can see our new container for hello uh, world docker image so now uh, we use this for command and by docker pull we pull this uh, hello world uh, image and uh, with the docker images we saw that after creating our hello world uh, uh, image uh, after pulling our hello world image i was able to see my new image and uh, after running a docker run it's created one container and when i try to run docker ps uh, command so i was able to see my container so now next thing is uh, is this is only for the demonstration pur purpose so i don't want to keep this image and container in my system so how can i remove this uh, container and image so two more command i am going to use uh, the first command is docker rm and then i can give container it so this will remove the container and to remove the image i am going to use docker rm i just i i need to append after this and then i can give the image id and this will remove uh, image so to remove a container uh, let's uh, give our command so let's start docker then rm and then container id so i can give any uh, it's not required to give complete id i can give few characters so let's take first three character and let's press enter so it's deleted my container so let's verify again so let me then docker ps and then a for stop the container and now i don't see anything so now i can see uh, i don't have anything now let's remove images so first see uh, existing images with the docker images command and i can see this image so to remove this uh, now let me give command docker r m and i for image and then i can give id so again here i don't need to give complete id i can give few initial characters so let's take first three character so let me type it here and let's enter so i can see my image is deleted successfully now let's verify again so i don't see anything so that's all for our first day and in the next video i am going to add our angular uh, source code to docker container and uh, in this machine the, what i am using i don't have even node installed so first i will show that i don't have any node installation and how uh, i will add a node in my docker and then how will add my source code in the docker and i will how will i run my angular application so please watch uh, next video and thank you for all your support